Hello, Zero K okay fans. This is Shadow Fury 33 with another exhibition match. Well, another exhibition stream for, well, basically lead up to tomorrow or Saturday's tournament, rather. So there is a 1v1 tournament as usual at the end of the month. It is going to be this Saturday at 10, p 10 a.m. UTC. So 3 a.m. Pacific time, 6 a.m. Eastern North American time, 10 a.m. in Western Europe, 11 a.m. in Eastern Europe. And UTC, so you can just figure your time zone if you're not in those countries. Or regions, rather. And that is going to be 1v1. 1v1, double elimination, random seeding. And it will be, like I said, in a few days. So go to the forum, sign up for that. Even if you don't think you're necessarily going to win, you can at least have some tournament experience, which is always useful. Without further ado, though, let's get to some games. So I'm going to try to do games with people who are in the tournament, though not necessarily... The first match, however, is going to involve people who are in the tournament. Exploit is actually signed up for the tournament, which I'm glad to see. I do like seeing people signed up for tournaments. Regardless of what their LO says, it's always a good thing. Actually, Snuggle Base, come to think of it, isn't signed up. They might want to. But yeah, the... So yeah, Exploit has signed up. Good for them. But yeah, in general, if you aren't confident, still sign up. I mean, you may not win, but at least you'll get tournament experience, and you'll be able to play a few games. You'll play at least three games. Because it is a double elimination, so you get two in winners and one in losers, at the very worst. So you're not going to be there for nothing. But anyway, that aside, let's get to the match itself, or the map rather. So Cull is, as you can see, a water and land map. Very much favors Hovercraft, although we do see that Snuggle Base is going for Amphib. That works too. I personally prefer using Hovercraft. It's a flat map, so Hovercrafts work fairly well. Amphibs can work as well. There's no reason why they can't. It's... It does have shallow enough hills that you can send amphibots up and down the water. Hovercraft are just faster. It's a fairly large map, so hovercraft do work nicely. And otherwise, it's basically just you get the metal extractors on the water, you try to protect your little cove, and you essentially take your half of the map from there. Oftentimes, players will expand along... They'll just go island hopping, and then expand to the water afterwards, because the water can be difficult to defend, especially with your opponent going for hovercraft. Snuggle Base, however, is being a little bit risky. They're trying to go for the center first and then take the sides without really being too far in front. Whereas Exploit going really far in the back, but on one side. So they have at least a land area to defend. As long as Exploit isn't too defensive, they should be okay. But Snuggle Base is probably going to be having an easier time overall. Just because they have more experience with the game. It's going to be, or at least more, well, their LO is considerably higher. So they're probably going to be better off. They'll probably, have, they'll probably know to expand pretty quick in order to take everything. And Exploit also going for Amphib. My goodness, the Amphib Factory is popular nowadays, isn't it? And actually, yeah, it is. The Hovercraft Factory... I'm a bit surprised it's not being used here, but the Amphib Factory has become popular in the last little while. It has been pretty much for a few months now. I mean, the Duck buff from a few months ago really helped, but now it's just... There might be something I missed when I was in Chicago. But I don't think anything new has actually happened to the Amphib Lab. I think it's just the fact that the Amphib Lab is... Well, it's... What the hell's going on? Why is it showing me exploit commander's orders? Anyway, the Amphib Lab, as far as I know, has had no real change. The duck is... Yeah, still costs 80, still deals 230 a shot. No real difference there. But the Hovercraft Factory, I mean, it does require a critical mass to be useful. It's kind of tricky to deal with, although on this map, it's... Like I said, considerably faster. The daggers at least can hit underwater, as can the claymores, but doesn't seem to really matter here. Both players are going for pure amphib. Snuggle base scouting in all directions, not sure where exploit is. Exploit, on the other hand, going towards the center, actually getting kind of lucky, and will probably scout out snuggle base first. No, never mind, going towards the southeast corner, so they. No, they don't look like they're going to see it too quickly. They will go to the southeast and then go to the southwest. They might pass snuggle base's opening area. Exploit, however, is expanding pretty quick into their cove. They have not actually expanded anywhere else. Well, Snuggle Base, going a bit more for land-based expansions. But hasn't really expanded that much. Exploit actually expanding a little bit more, but Snuggle Base... They, are they, if they try to stop this, it will be a mistake. There are four ducks right underwater here. And Exploit's going to be able to defend this no problem. Well, presumably. I mean, it will... No, it's not going to go down a micro. That's too easy. Snuggle Base does not have a whole lot of ducks around here. They do actually have quite a few, though. As you can see, they do have about, well, three ducks in the water, one over the eastern, or northeast side. And gradually expanding out, but Exploit is a little bit ahead economically. 
They will, however, need to turn this into a bit of a territory advantage. Getting scallops pretty early, I don't know if I agree with this. At this point, Exploit has a slightly larger duck army, and also... Ex I think it's not... Okay, scallops work well on land, so if Exploit can pull Snuggle Base onto the land, the scallop will easily win. But scallops, they rely a lot more on positioning underwater. They can win. I mean, they're still firing off a bunch of depth charges, so it's not like they're completely useless, but they're far more useful against raiders above on land than they are underwater. So it really will depend on positioning. Exploit needs to take advantage of this. I don't know if they will, though. I don't even think they're going to have their ducks. In fact, their ducks are going to go down pretty quick if they're not careful. One down already. One mech's down as well. And Snuggle Base still hasn't quite expanded enough to t make up for this. Continuing to expand pretty regularly, though. Also being very defensive. Not realizing that Exploit themselves are going for a somewhat defensive economic build. And they are probably going to end up falling. I mean, at this point, Snuggle Base could attack. Snuggle Base could attack right now. This entire area would be dead. I think the commander would be dead. The scallop has just been built. It's underwater, it's in the middle of the cove, but it's nowhere near these ducks. If these ducks went around the other side, that scallop... The only downside, of course, being the scallop is much more effective against ducks above water, so I don't think Snuggle Base wants to risk that. I think they suspect something. Well, let's see from their point of view. Well, right now, they don't really see a whole lot of anything, and they wouldn't have seen much of what's going on up on this particular peninsula. At this point, it looks like Snuggle Base is expecting Exploit to expand going island hopping, as I mentioned earlier, and they're not. I mean, Exploit sort of is. Exploit's kind of going for this cove, and they started in the middle, so island hopping is a little bit redundant. I mean, they have the coves now, but Exploit, no, they're not going for island hopping at all. In fact, they aren't expanding very quickly either. Snuggle Base at this point has now taken over the expansions, and they're far ahead in economy now. Like, plus seven metal is a pretty big difference. As in, in about a minute or so, Snuggle Base should have about one and a half times the army size of Exploit. Assuming no combat, of course, but yeah, it's it's a pretty big difference. And now Snuggle Base is going for the assault, which... Not necessarily the most advised. Actually, very ill-advised. They... I, I said that earlier, they could have attacked, but that was a couple minutes ago. Actually, that was a minute ago, and a lot changed. Exploit built a huge duck and scallop army. Compared to what Snuggle Base has, I mean, like half a dozen ducks and a couple scallops. Compared to about half a dozen ducks. Now, Exploit will be able to surround the scallop and should be able to kill it without really any effort. Yep, it's the only thing is it has to be below water. Above water, the scallop has no problem. Below water, however, the ducks are going to just tear it apart, as we can see. So that's the thing. Exploit really needs to be careful about that. They need to keep their scallops above water. Snuggle Base, as long as they take advantage of that, is going to be fine. And Snuggle Base losing one of their ducks for free. Not even able to take out the commander. Not able to take out any metal extractors. While Exploit forcing Snuggle Base to pull back around the northwest side. But I don't know how much it matters. Snuggle Base is actually taking quite a lot of the southern area. They've pretty much taken the entire southern side of the map. Almost all of the metal extractors here have been taken. Exploit running in a little bit of a raid, which actually should do okay. If it picks the right metal extractors. This one over here is free. These ones over here are fairly free. Actually, not quite. The urchin is in the way. And unfortunately, Exploit goes for one of the ones that has a bit more resistance to it. And doesn't even deal with it. Not sure what... Okay, that duck is just being weird. Never seen that happen before. However, Exploit does have a decently large army, but Snuggle Base has nearly doubled the economy. No factory switch so far, though. Snuggle Base continuing to just go with a bunch of caretakers on their Amphib factory, pumping out the units very quickly. They're, within the next couple minutes, going to have probably double Snuggle Base... Sorry, double Exploit's army size. Like, Snuggle Base is... Actually, no, Exploit's catching up a bit, but even then, even with that catching up, Snuggle Base is still firmly in the lead. And that lead will simply increase. Snuggle Base... All they have to worry about is this Assault Force. If that goes down, I don't see Exploit having any easy way out of this. And here it comes, right now! First shot goes in, and... Snuggle Base getting a really nice surround on Exploit, able to take care of all of Exploit's ducks, losing only a handful of their own... Actually, probably highlight Exploit's ducks. Yeah, Snuggle Base, with the loss of only like two or three of their own ducks, is able to rip apart Exploit's entire army. Leaving only two scalps. However... Snuggle Base being very careful not to approach them when they are above ground. Very wise move, loses only one metal extractor, remains in the lead, Exploit managing to expand themselves 
pretty much on par. While Snuggle Base has not expanded much beyond their current base. At this point though, Snuggle Base has about half of the map. Not quite a full half of the map, but very nearly, and this is usually where expansion stops and Reclaim becomes the dominating factor. That being said though, Reclaim. There's a lot of it. There is actually right here about 300, 400 metal worth of Reclaim, which is about another five ducks, easy. So at this point that, or a couple scalps. Which at this point is actually not that big of a deal, it seems, but hey, every duck counts. So it's worth having, and that was a lot of metal that Exploit just kind of donated. But Exploit at the same time is also reclaiming quite nicely. They're being very cautious, or at least conscientious, I should say, of the reclaim that is available. Both the reclaim from corpses and the rocks that are just scattered about here. Snuggle Base, however, forcing some of Exploit's workers back just to prevent them from reclaiming too much. But still, Exploit doing a pretty decent job of taking care of the reclaim around here. Which they kind of have to, I haven't actually pointed out, their energy income has been terrible. This entire game, they've actually been very low in energy. They need that reclaim in order to start building the units because they have quite a large economy, metal-wise. But their energy economy has been very weak, which means they cannot catch up to the, mil the military production. Not at all. But they're actually ahead economically. Snuggle Bay is doing a very good job harassing, but... Yeah, they're doing a great job harassing. This, this small contingent of ducks will not stop these scallops. And once they get rid of the urchin, this area is pretty much completely open. Like, these mexes here are completely open. There's nothing defending them effectively, as well as this one over here. This plus 2.4 back here, that's the only one effectively defended by this urchin. The rest of them, the units can basically stay out of range of the urchin and still attack. And now the command... Oh, well, the commander's not even here. Exploit wisely moving their commander back, taking the rest of this cove, and taking the onland sections as well. At this point, the map is starting to consolidate pretty effectively. Exploit managing to hold their own rather nicely, although Snuggle Base's army advantage is going to be a major problem given a couple minutes. Actually, it could be a major problem right now. Snuggle Base can attack whenever they feel like it. They have to be a bit careful about when they attack, and they have been attacking down here. This entire southeast side, sorry, northeast side, is basically dead. Like, Snuggle Base has pretty much taken this. They pretty much have these, yeah, this as well. Exploit, however, coming in for a bit of a counterattack, while Snuggle Base. They need to move up for a flank now. If they fire north with these units, attacking along here, they are going to basically win. They're going to win right away if they do that. If they wait a little longer, Exploit should be able to start making use of their new energy economy and actually build up a huge army. Get their army disadvantage out of the way. They have the build power for it. Actually, do they? 20? No, they don't. Never mind. That's 45 build power right there with 55 metal. An extra caretaker would do the trick. If they had that along with a reclaim on the energy, they should be able to completely set up their production enough that they can catch up to Snuggle Base, provided that they are a bit more careful. But at this point, Snuggle Base can just attack. And this is the timing that Snuggle Base goes for, which is really good timing before Exploit has any chance to get that build power deficit taken care of. And with that, Snuggle Base should take the game. Exploit managed to hold up pretty well, but the problem was Exploit did not expand that quickly, giving Snuggle Base an economic advantage for the majority of the game. And then by the time Exploit had the economic, well, parity, they didn't have the energy economy to make it work. They do have a fusion plant now, but before that they had nothing. And that really hurt them. Hey, that prevented them from really producing at all effectively, and now they just don't have enough build power to really make the army they need. Snuggle Base, however, has basically got them surrounded, and this is game. This is it. These last few ducks will be coming in here, and Exploit doesn't have a whole lot to deal with them. There's no, there's one scallop left which should be able to hold off these, this particular set of ducks. But there's another set of scallops that the few boys that have been built won't be able to deal with. And other than that, it's basically death. Like, Exploit's gonna get hit a couple more times. They might, at best, be able to hold off one more attack, but... No, they're not. What am I saying? There's hardly anything that Exploit has that'll deal with this. They have a few boys, no ducks. Their military... Where is their military? Their commander has not been upgraded, so that's not much of their military. The only thing I can think of is the boys, which... Well, it's 1,500 right there. Oh, whoops, that's mostly Exploit's ducks. Sorry, it's mostly Snuggle Base's ducks. Yeah, Exploit doesn't really have much. And Snuggle Base has the entire map, and that is basically game. Exploit should be surrendering any time now, because that... Really, it was kind of even until Smuggle Base went to attack. If Exploit had... I think if Exploit had built a few more static defenses just to stop Snuggle Base from getting in in a cost-effective manner, I think they would have been able to hold off long enough to be able to, well, make the airplane fax switch work, 
Although I don't necessarily agree with that. Ravens have been considerably nerfed, but they could work against metal extractors. That or Thunderbirds, another good option. Or just to get the economy and get the build power in order to actually build up all the units they need to even out the army to army sizes and have the defense to make it work. But now, that is game. Exploit blowing everything they have up. Not realizing, I guess, that you can just hit surrender to do the same thing. But anyway, that was game. Hope you enjoyed that. Not the most even game. Though it didn't look too one-sided at first, but yeah, not the most even game. Snuggle Base did have the advantage throughout, so it's probably pretty clear. Looking at the stats as well, I mean, the Metal Excess... Exploit was actually pretty good about Metal Excess until the last the last half of the game, which is basically when they had too much energy. As you can see, the energy production... Well, it actually was continually ramping up. They didn't have enough energy, that was the problem. Whereas their Metal... Yeah, their Metal Excess kind of spiked alongside where the Metal was just basically over their energy. Anyway, that was that, so I'll have, actually it's metal produced, that's what I want. Yeah, metal produced versus energy produced, and energy at that point, that was where it cut. And at that point, of course, metal excess. So yeah, very important, always get enough energy to use your metal. Extremely important. Because that, my goodness, 1800 metal right there, that was actually for a little while the difference between army sizes. And a lot of that was early on as well. Like, there was just a couple minute stretch where... Almost 1,500 metal worth of units were not built that could have been. So, moving on in the next game, we're going to have something a bit more even. It will be on Cooper Hill between Flipstep and Hokomoko. This is a map that's actually going to be played in the first round of the tournament, and I don't know if Flipstep or Hokomoko are in... I think Flipstep is. Not sure about Hokomoko yet, but the signups are not closed. Actually, neither of them are signed up yet. Well, anyway, I hope both of them do. That'll be up in just a minute, so stay tuned.